Hi, have you been trying to lose weight postpartum? Maybe you're in your month six, month 10, and the weight has not been going down. Have you been trying diets? Have you been trying exercises and things like that? And has this been causing you a lot of stress? No, your body just feels foreign to you. So this video is for you because in this video, I'm going to reveal to you the one thing that could be disrupting or the one thing that could be sabotaging your efforts so that you are not seeing the results that you should be able to see. So my name is Nastery. I welcome you to this amazing, amazing YouTube channel. This channel is for moms like you. We help moms transition easily into motherhood and I normally help them overcome the postpartum challenges such as this one that we are currently talking about. So this particular issue is a big, 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 big problem because it can affect how you feel confident about yourself. It can affect how also how others how other people would also treat you out there because when you're not looking your best also you're not feeling your best and you're not also acting as your best so i want you to take this video um in a in a serious way because it can actually change your life if you practice the things that we are gonna talk in this video so um uh, the one thing that could be sabotaging all your postpartum weight loss efforts is disrupted hormones and when I talk about disrupted hormones, it is something that we as women postpartum contribute to. You no, know, we facilitate these hormones to be disrupted. And when these hormones are disrupted, then our weight loss efforts are so, you know, it, is, it becomes so hard to lose that weight, mm. which we are trying so hard to lose. And these hormones that I'm talking about, they are the three main hormones that, I'm, um, that are so vital in this hour. Uh, process and that is the leptin hormone that is responsible for how you feel full you see there's some people who will eat a cookie and they eat food they eat a cookie but still they are not feeling full they want to just continue eating because they are not feeling full so then that shows that your leptin hormone has been disrupted and it is going to be very very difficult for you to lose weight and then there's the ghrelin hormone this hormone is responsible to help you feel hungry. You know, when you're supposed to feel hungry, this is the hormone that is responsible for that. So there are some people who feel hungry all the time. So that is, again, not normal. You should not feel hungry all the time. So if you're feeling hungry all the time, know that this hormone, the ghrelin hormone, has been disrupted and you losing your weight postpartum is going to be very, very tough. It's going to require a lot of effort. And the good thing is that I'm going to show you how you can... Uh, harmonize these hormones so that they can support your weight loss so i want you to stick to the very end so if you've been feeling very hungry as a mom postpartum just comment or type yes in the comment section and let us know that you know this has happened to some of us or if you've been eating and you're not feeling full you know you just want to keep eating after a few minutes also comment there and let us know that yes i've experienced this and this is a, a real thing so the other hormone is the insulin hormone so the insulin hormone is it's such an amazing hormone because it normally helps to convert you know, the food the glucose that you've eaten you know the excess glucose is normally stored as fat so if you're consuming a lot of sugars and, and for the sugars i don't mean like the added table sugars i mean a lot of uh foods that have a lot of glucose that your body doesn't need then this hormone converts them and stores them as fat as fat and this is so 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 they become so difficult so you need to be able to support this hormone so that it helps to burn this extra fat that have been stored so that you can lose the weight and you can only do this if you know how to so i'm gonna share with you the one thing that you need to do and the one thing that you need to know is how to be able to balance this hormone so that they can work in harmony so that you don't have the cravings and so that you feel full if, when you eat you know, you're not feeling hungry all the time and so that you're not storing excess glucose fat all the time because that is a big problem so i'm just gonna mention two things that can actually disrupt these hormones and one of them is lack of sleep and the second one is your diet you know, what you're eating on a day-to-day -day basis so if you can learn or if you can know how to harmonize these three hormones then you can be able to lose the weight so easily so maybe you're wondering how or 
how can I be able to harmonize or what can I do to be able to harmonize these three hormones so that I can be able to lose the weight easily. Okay. And the good news is that I didn't just leave you like that. I created this guide for you so that so that you can be able to support these three hormones and be able to lose your postpartum weight easily. So I want you to just download this guide, get this guide, uh, read through the, the first chapter. It, it's a very, very short guide. Read it and read about the disruption of hormones and how you should be able to support these hormones so that they are working in harmony and so that you can be able to uh, to support your body to lose weight by supporting these three hormones. It's a link in the video description. Just download this guide and be on your way to supporting your these three hormones so that you can start losing weight speedily. So I hope this video has helped you a great deal. And uh, if you like this video, just like, share, and, and remember to subscribe and check out this video that I also created for you.